On June 25, 2013, the Supreme Court took Martin Luther King's Dream Act, the Voting Rights Act, and burnt out its heart. It's the Supreme Court ruling striking down that key section of the 1965 Voting Rights Act has prompted some new moves in Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, and North Carolina. Florida began a purge of 181,000 Hispanics from its voter rolls as illegal aliens. Would black people still have the right to vote? Not in South Carolina. Every election in our state now requires photo ID before you vote. In fact, just hours after the court eviscerated the Voting Rights Act, Alabama passed a law requiring voters to have a driver's license or ID from a motor vehicle office to vote. Then the state shut down most of the motor vehicle offices in the 10 Black Belt counties. When the Supreme Court struck down Section 4B of the Voting Rights Act, that was a powerful setback. The 1965 Voting Rights Act banned all forms of racist trickery in voting. A state couldn't adopt a scheme like cross-check unless the state could prove it did not discriminate against voters of color. Not many states would dare try until the court ripped out the key section of the Voting Rights Act and almost overnight, cross-check spread like a virus. The court's Republican majority said racial voting trickery is gone. Blatantly discriminatory evasions are rare and Jim Crow practices have been eradicated. Is that Sanders' experience? I literally went to vote and my name was not on the voting list. How odd, since Attorney Sanders is also the Honorable Senator Hank Sanders, representing Selma. But I had been on the ballot in a number of years, and my name wasn't on the voting list. It's a half century after Martin Luther King was here, and I'm back in Selma, Alabama, investigating suppression of the black vote. What the hell happened to my country? We have a long history of suppressing the black vote. We also have a long history of suppressing the poor vote. But all of that is being magnified now by these various kinds of institutes who have devised all of these modern day ways to be able to diminish voter participation. And of course, these are being funded by a few folks who have billions of dollars. They've found ways not to pay taxes, and now they are using those uh, same dollars to be able to take away the right to vote from poor folks and black folks and other minorities. The Supreme Court case against the Voting Rights Act was brought by Shelby, Alabama. So where did poor little Shelby get the cash to bring the case? The money behind Shelby came from Project on Fair Representation. And the money behind Project, it came from Donors Trust. And the money behind Donors Trust, Coke. So it was Coke money behind the hit on the Voting Rights Act. And that let cross-check loose on the entire USA. Look who flocked up with the Cokes to attack the Voting Rights Act the Manhattan Institute, whose chairman is Paul Singer, the vulture. 